Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Update and I hope you are doing very well. In today's video, we are going to see how to make bougainvilleas more bushier and taller the most easiest way. For example, here you can see some of my quite bushier bougainvillea plants and they are growing nicely. You would see everything with updates and first let us see how to make them bushier. After that, we are going to discuss about how to make them taller. This footage is from December month and here is one of my bougainvillea plant. This footage is from October and it's the same plant. I recorded this at the time of flowering. Now this is how the same plant is looking. Quite a nice transformation, right? From looking like something like this to this. I did almost the same thing with all of my other bougainvillea plants and they are doing quite well. Let's see what we need to do. Very first important point. We need a huge pot and please try to use at least a 14 inch pot. I am using this pot and it's 16 inch wider and 16 inch deeper. Please also take a look at the shape of the pot. The radius on the top and bottom is almost same and pot like this does really great. On second, we also need a very good potting soil mix so that our plants grow fast. For the potting soil mix, I am taking only two components and first one is 60% garden soil and second 40% vermicompost. There are again few other components to add and that's why please keep watching. On third, we need to prune our plants. I am pruning in a way so that I can give my plant a round shape. While pruning, we can also prune the thick branches and very soon it would start producing new shoots. Let's report the plant and I would like to provide you one important info. See if you do all the steps, your plant may not bloom immediately and do this only if you are looking for a huge plant and ready to wait for the blooms. Anyway, same thing happens after reporting almost all bougainvillea plants. After reporting, they try to grow as much as they can and once they get root bound, they start to bloom. So if you have reported a plant recently and it's not blooming, then there is nothing to worry about. You just need to wait for some more time. On fourth, adding two components and first one is 50 grams bone meal. Instead of this, you can also use rock phosphate or in fact horn meal as well. Second component is 50 grams mustard cake powder. See, in few countries, mustard cake powder is not used. So please check it whether you can use it or not. Here in my place, we don't get any issues. You can also see that I have added both components at the bottom layer and the plant is not going to get them immediately. Once it start producing the roots, it will be getting all the components. If you like, you can also add 2 teaspoons of famous pea. Famous pea basically helps the plant to produce better root system. Alright, done with everything. Next, it's time to water. After that, I would keep the plant in steady area for next two to three days and then I would move the plant to the terrace. Let's see what we need to do next and also the updates.
this is an update after 85 days and here we are going to do the fifth important thing i am going to prune my plant again and this time i am going to do soft pruning just going to cut the top growing part so that it produces more branches and doesn't grow like a vine plus this way i will be also able to maintain the shape of the plant to be honest i felt very bad to prune again as it was growing nicely but did thinking about the result which i would get in coming days already on this plant we can see many new shoots after pruning but still could not prune all of my plants and left few plants as it is that's why some plants are growing like vines as you can see two extra tips here number 1 see whenever you buy any plants try to get all those plants which have much thicker stems something like this if you can get this you are very lucky and your plant is going to grow fast in most cases we don't get plant like this for example recently i collected one tissue culture variety and please take a look at the main stem it's quite thin Well, it's going to take many more months to transform this plant like my other plants. Tip number two: Try to buy tissue culture variety. Tissue culture variety are those which are developed in lab and usually they bloom more. They are also costly. For example, the cost of this tiny plant was rupees three fifty, whereas the local varieties are available at only rupees forty to fifty. To make the bougainvillea plants bushier, basically these are the important things that we need to do. Now answering few important questions and then we would see how to make bougainvilleas much taller. Number one, when should I do all these things? You can start doing it from the beginning of the April for better result. In summer, it's going to grow fast. Number two, should I keep pruning my bougainvillea plants? no and please stop pruning from august onwards this way you will be getting lots of flowers from september october onwards number 3 how many times to fertilize a plant well applying 3 to 4 times a year is actually more than enough considering you do everything in april next you can apply once in july to august and once in november to december this is how i do it usually avoid feeding too much or else it would be keep on growing leaves just like this without any flowers you can use the same two components and it's more than enough number 4 should i water on regular basis during the active growth or during the flowering time they actually need water on regular basis so please keep the soil consistently moist however in winter we can let the top soil dry out before watering Now let's see how to make bougainvilleas taller. Bougainvilleas grow almost like a vine. So if you want them to make taller, please avoid pruning too frequently and when your plant reaches at this stage, you would need to provide some kind of support. You can use either bamboo sticks or wooden stick and if you like, you can prune the lower branches. Or else there is another thing you can do. You can keep them behind the wall and eventually they would grow taller looking for more sunlight. I am doing the same thing in my balcony. They don't get light because of this wall and that's why they are growing upward looking for more sunlight. But still you would need something to provide them support and in my case grill is working as a support. Just few days back I grew two more plants on this spot. and they are starting to grow well i hope very soon they will be like my other bougainvillea plants such as red and orange along with bougainvilleas in case you are growing the hibiscus plants then please note that we can get lots of flowers by following few specific tips if you are interested to know more please check out my next video i hope you found this video useful and if you did please don't forget to like it share it to friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit thank you very much for watching take care and enjoy